here at Film Bazaar, which is at the Hotel Marriott. And we're actually on the river where the sea comes in. It's really a big networking exercise. There's some conferences and some sessions. It's a wonderful place to come and see filmmakers, meet distributors, sales agents, the business of filmmaking, producers, directors, incredible talent. What can I say? It's India. Naman Ramachandran. An Asian correspondent for Variety. Praveen Dasanjavedi. Samir Bhamra, creative director, UK Asian Film Festival. Talking to Asian culture vulture. You are now producing your first film, so tell us about that. It's a feature film. It is totally in English. I have an English Caucasian white cast. Um, we are shooting in Wales in January. I love the script. Um, so I'm a co-producer on that. I have a producer also with me. My producing partner is Himan Demija. A really wonderful, eclectic, global crew for a story that's set in Wales uh, with very English characters and hopefully it's, it's, it's going to go well. It's always interesting to see a fresh breath of new talent emerging uh, and that's what I tend to look out for uh, when I'm here at Film Bazaar because uh, filmmakers are constantly evolving and changing and it normally takes someone about three to five years to make their first film. Each year you have to make fresh contacts, learn about fresh perspectives, but also get an insight into what the mindset is of filmmakers today. What are the stories that they're telling uh, and how are they relevant to us as British audiences? Um, you know, because we program as a UK-wide Asian Film Festival, so I've got to think about each city, what the demographic is and um, how might they receive the film. We come a little bit away from the main uh, talk area of Film Bazaar and I'm with Tamara Gordon who has a really interesting story which I think you want to develop. I've been adopted by English parents um, but every day as I'm sure a lot of people get in England people say to you where do you come from? No, where do you really come from when you say you're English? Meaning the colour of my skin and I didn't know the answer. Okay. So I had to go and find my one in a billion Indian birth father um, and I went looking around India for a long time thinking where does his nose belong where do I come from he wasn't in India he ended up in Canada <laughs> so I want to make this film it's another lion but it's got a twist in that I actually got my citizenship for India my OCI through my British white British father. How, 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 how did that happen? <laughs> well, he was born in India right. under the Raj. Right. We're at Film Bazaar and I'm with Naman Ramachandran. I'm here wearing uh, several hats, reporting on the Bazaar and IFI. I did some master classes at IFI and I'm moderating uh, a session here at the Film Bazaar. In addition to all of that, uh, I'm also looking at uh, new films to premiere at London for the next edition of the London Indian Film Festival. Are there any discernible trends from Indian films right now, the stuff you're seeing here and also the stuff that's premiering at IFI? Uh, there seems to be uh, a huge upsurge in the, in the quality of um, uh, uh, independent cinema, especially the ones that are curated by the NFDC. If you Look at the trends uh, from Indian independent cinema in the past few years. Everything uh, that's been going out to the world has been from here. Uh, starting from The Lunchbox uh, and uh, Kissa, Tale of a Lonely Ghost uh, and, uh, and various other films. Uh, the films that won uh, the Mumbai Film Festival this year, E Balayu and uh, Sahi, uh, they both uh, won at Film Bazaar last year. So there's a clearly discernible trend that the projects that are curated by the NFDC are going on to conquer the world. I bought most of it from ASOS, <laughs> which fortunately no one knows about here. Okay. We're still at Film Bazaar here and we're with Harry Pearson, who's an actor. Harry, what brings you to Film Bazaar? I have been working in London, in theatre and film, for about five years. Okay. Um, I have a theatre company called Dryad's Theatre Group. We make immersive, interactive productions and do all sorts of things. And um, I decided to come to India to um, start working in film here. Okay. I arrived one week ago. Wow. I'm fresh off the boat. Oh Still kind of um, jet-lagged, yeah. I think. Wow. 
And um, I'm excited to be here because the country's so inspiring. There's so much to be said about the things that are happening. Um, it's of, what can I say, it's India. Is this your first trip to India or you've been to India many times and you just happened to be at Film Bazaar? It's some um, mad stories. My father's from Goa. Okay. He wow. has always lived in Goa. Okay. So um, I was born in the UK, right. but he's always been and lived in Goa. Right. And um, I've come back kind of to reconnect with him as, as, as well as a key wow. reason to come back. So I haven't yeah. seen him for four years. Okay. So wow. um, we're spending some time together and um, we're actually shooting a feature film in March right. um, with an American uh, English production. Um, about the rediscovery of fathers and generations coming to and from India. Um, so it's actually been very inspirational for and, our and film. Yeah, what, what's the title? Have you got a working, is there um, a we have a working? We have a working title, but I don't like to say working titles. Just keep an eye out for film. For exciting entertainment news, keep watching AsianCultureVulture.com. <laughs>